today I'm going to be doing my first January book haul. I have already acquired quite a few books. A few were books that I got for Christmas that hadn't come yet the last time I did my book haul and then some of them are ones that I pre-ordered during Christmas time that came yesterday so I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it. So the first book I got was The Secret of a Heart Note and this one is about a girl who basically can use her nose to smell different elixirs and mix them together to make different love spells but in order to have that sense of smell she can't fall in love herself once she falls in love then she loses the ability to make these love spells and I thought this sounded like such a cute book it is about I think a 15 year old girl yeah 15 year old girl so, it's a so I think it's geared more towards the younger young adult audience but um, I thought it sounded really cute and interesting, so I went ahead and picked it up, and it came out at the end of December, so I did pre-order this one through Barnes & Noble, but it didn't end up coming till after the release date, which I was a little upset about, but I still am glad that I got it, which it really, I guess it really doesn't even matter because I wasn't going to read it the day that it came out, but you know how it is. The next two books I got were recommendations off of another booktube channel from Clara Reed's books. And the first one is It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. And I've actually heard a lot of things about this on other YouTube channels, but I never really like read into it or really looked into what it was about. And Clara said that it was one of her favorite books of last year, so I had to pick it up. And it is a contemporary book about a girl who falls for this neurosurgeon who's really awesome and really cute and funny and great, but then her past boyfriend from years ago resurfaces and she has to kind of figure out who she wants to be with between them. And I guess that there's a little bit of a love triangle, but it's not like an annoying, stupid, I don't want to hear this kind of love triangle. So. I'm really interested in reading this. I don't read a lot of contemporaries. I've been trying to get a little bit more into contemporary books, so I'll have to read this one here pretty soon. The next one I got, based off the fact that it was one of Clara's favorite books of last year, was All the Bright Places by Jennifer Naveen. And I don't know a lot about what this is about. I know that it's a dual perspective contemporary novel about two kids who work on a project together. and. I heard, I've heard lots of great things about it from other booktubers as well. It is one that came out I think last year, but everybody's raved about it so I had to pick it up. The next book I got was also on Claire's channel of her favorite books that she read in 2016, but it was one that I was already planning on buying and that is A Court of Mist and Fury. And I have the first one, I haven't read it yet, but I just did read A Throne of Glass and loved it loved the writing in it so I am definitely planning on reading these two books and I'm really excited about them because I do love Sarah J Mass's writing so far from what I've read of her it was great it was amazing which I'm gonna be doing a book review over soon so watch out for that and I've heard there's some like some pretty steamy sex scenes in these books so I'm actually kind of excited about that because you don't read that kind of stuff and teen fiction so I'm curious to see like how in-depth they get with that. The next two books that I got were the first and second books of the Fallen Kingdoms series. Fallen Kingdoms and Rebel Spring and this is another one that people are just raving all over booktube about. I guess the fifth one just came out I believe and so I thought I should jump on the bandwagon and try to give these a go. So far I've had pretty good experience with books that have been made a big deal on booktube and I read them and I've really liked them. All of them except for Six of Crows. So. These are another set of books that I'm just kind of going in blind. I've just heard great things about them so I'm gonna try them out and hopefully if I don't, hopefully I'm not giving them too much expectations. I'm not having like big expectations for these books to where I'll be disappointed but I'm really excited to read these, so I'll probably read the first one. I might end up reading it this month even though it's not on my TBR. The next two books I got were book three and four of the Throne of Glass series. I really loved the first one and so I've heard that the books just get better as they go. So I just thought mm, I'll pick these up and I'll just get the whole 
series and hopefully I read them all because I'm spending money on them. Next I got Wind Witch by Susan Denard which is the second book in the Truth Witch series. I already bought Truth Witch. I haven't read it yet but this one was a new release and I thought I would pick it up and I would just have the full I would have all of them so far. I don't know if there's going to be more of these or if this is just a duology. I need to look into that, but I'm excited to read both of these books. So. The next book I got was Rose Blood by A.G. Howard, and I talked a little bit about this in my January releases, and I'm really excited to read it. It is a retelling of The Phantom of the Opera. This one came out yesterday. I pre-ordered it, so I got it yesterday from Amazon, and I can't wait to get in. Oh, 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 oh. I have to show you guys this because it's so cool. I love stuff like this. I'm such a weirdo. There's red lettering in this book. And I can't get over it. It's so cool. I don't know if I'm a complete weirdo because I get excited about things like that, but I love it and I can't wait to read this. The next book I got was Frostblood by Ellie Blake and this one I'm currently reading. I'm only about a chapter in. This one is about a girl who has the power of fire. She is a fireblood and most of her world that she's living in ha is taken over by frostbloods but and firebloods have all been killed off by the frostbloods and she's being taken captive to compete in a tournament and against the frostbloods so this sounded really interesting to me i like the element of the frostbloods and the firebloods and i've heard it's pretty it was a really good book by Haley in books, I believe. And yes, this is a tissue that I'm using as a bookmark because Lincoln ran off with my bookmark when I was in the reading, so I just grabbed what was by me and put it in my book. So the last two books that I picked up this past week or so, like week or two, is, well, the first one is World Building, A Writer's Guide to Constructing Star Systems and Life Supporting Planets. I'm trying to get more books on writing to help with my writing skills and I am going to be writing sci-fi and fantasy novels so I figured that I would pick this one up. I also picked up another one that's out in the living room so I'm not going to go grab it and it is 100 tips on writing fantasy and it's a really short one. I think it was originally a Kindle book and they made it into a paperback book and I picked it up and I am really excited to learn some more about writing. I don't have a lot of knowledge on writing books so I'm trying to broaden my knowledge base in my head on writing books so that I can write a really good book. So that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.